Off. 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 Good. Okay. No power in the panel. You have to take off this breaker. Oh, well, that's great. What? Somebody beat the fuck out of this thing. Oh, shit. The bottom of this is broken. Do you want the box on the right hand side or the left hand side of this thing? On the right. There we go. It's a bit big. Eventually, we're going to have to find some kind of cover for this. See how there's concentric rings? Center ring, outside ring. This is one is three. The middle ring wouldn't pop. It's fine. It's just we, we want something to come by and, and close that gap later. This thing tends to move. Is it fine? Yes. <sighs> Not all concrete are made with blocks. It's concrete block. Okay. Then, yeah, we're just pinching, pinching through them. Okay. Now, if you ever tighten these kinds, you'll fucking ruin them. Be real careful the amount of tension you use. I don't like this top one. I think this top one's up here didn't hold but the whole box is fucking solid there's a little lip on this bar here so it just lips here and then shoves down right onto there and all you gotta do is line up the little lip there we go we now have power stopped here not here that being said what's the next thing we do they double check test our, the wires double check with our multimeter that there is no power here and that would come up to 40 if there was voltage there these two main lines coming to the house are both what are going to go through this exact same lines going to go through this right okay so i've got one phase and then i've got another phase 240 242.0 they measure because they're they're always out of phase. Whenever is go one is going up, the other one's going down. They're never... The opposite sine waves. Exactly. Opposite sine waves. That's why we see 240. No, don't test the wire. We just tested the breaker. Okay, so we're good. You know what? Let's double check it. Just to be safe, right? All right. Okay. Now, I do know that I've already actually checked the bar itself, and I know that there's no voltage there. But, just to be safe, all cold. Good. All right, cool. Because this fucking Romex is so fucking thick... 10 gauge that is about where i want to cut 15 amp compressor on a 20 amp breaker using 10 gauge wire cut that one and cut that one we're gonna go ahead and strip the wire on my two positive leads there when you install these I got my ground actually up on the top here. That's unusual. That means I bent these backwards. Or maybe um, you should install it upside down. I read somewhere that you're supposed to install the ground on the top so that if something falls on top of it, it hits the ground thing instead of the two positives. That's odd because the actual ground screw is down here, but the ground plug is up here. Yeah. That's kind of weird. weird. Yeah, that's a bit weird. And the reason we had to go with this outlet is because the plug from the compressor is actually that. Does it? It looks just like that. Does it? Does it matter what direction you want it? It really doesn't. It doesn't. Just, yeah. My copper is going to be on the right-hand side. Okay. In whatever direction you're going to screw this in. Okay. Obviously, this is going to be clockwise in this direction. That's the direction that you want your loop loop to be. Nice and tight. And that's the ground. That's the ground. And a lot of times in household wiring, the ground is actually the green wire. G for G, green for ground. That's what I learned on the internets yesterday. Because it's so fucking thick, it's becoming a bitch to get it in there. There we go. All right. Nice and tucked away. I'm sweating balls out here. Yeah, man. It's like 100% humidity. Florida, summer. Okay. Recognize. I sweat dripping off of my eyelids. <laughs> Look at that sweat just dripping off. <laughs> A 
Okay. Face plate. Not yet. We got everything hooked up, flipped the breakers, and measured for voltage, and we were only getting 12 volts, something like that, 12, 13 volts out. So the breaker is bad, and it blew, I guess. Um, yeah. So if I go to the main house breaker now, I should get pretty much 240, right? Okay, because they're individual legs. Now if I measure the legs, that means I have power going to the breaker bars. If I check my breaker, you'll see that I have no voltage. It's in the off position. Breaker's all the way down and set. Turn it on. I get 41, 25 random various voltages. It's because the bottom of the breaker is broken and is not sitting correctly. The best way to check that is go from one leg to this copper ground here. Now I can see I've got eight volts on that leg and I've got about 12 volts on that leg. Yeah, that said 120. Oh, I did. Wait. No, wait. That actually was it 12? No, that may have been 120. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's 120. 120 on one leg, but we so, don't have it from the other leg because the, the bottom of the breaker was broken. Yeah, so, so I've got good voltage on one side, not on the other. So we need a new breaker. Yep. And the breaker came with the house, so I tried to reuse it. Didn't even see that it was broken. Uh, so maybe we can go down to a 15 amp breaker this time. I would think that you would want a little bit of leeway because 15 amps is what it's going to pull right on normal operation you want a little higher breaker than that because if it just turns on runs 15 amps normally anyway you're going to pop the breaker good so point a breaker that's higher than that good point all right so that's the end of this part stay tuned here are the two different breakers as you can see this one right here is completely broken on the back side it was actually installed like that nothing was hooked up to it so i guess they just sat it there no idea when or how it broke, but either way it's broken, so I went up and got another one. This one is a Type C220 because this is a Challenger electrical panel. And now John is reinstalling this one. Already shut off the power of the house, probed for voltage, no voltage. Now we're just wiring this one up. Since he's already done the wiring, it should just be plug and play, just pop it in there. You can see I've got it hooked on the back here. Is there something wrong with the bar? No. no going 100% down. Should it click into place? Well, take this one out and then see how that one clicks in. Well, that's actually not a bad idea. No, same thing. It just pushes down. That's it. It just goes just like that and then pushes down until it's flat. And this one's got a little bit of tension on the wires, so it's not pushing down 100%. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a problem. It's still in there solid. Flip on the main. That's off. That's on. Okay. Okay. Check for voltage. First. 240. Check over here. 240. Check the outlet. 240. And that's it. We're done. We got good ground. Checking the ground ain't going to do you any good. What are you going to check it against? Uh, the other voltage? I mean... <laughs> That's not a, it's not a good check. All right. So I'm going to flip it off. Okay. Now I'm going to install the faceplate, and then I'm going to button everything back up, and we're done. He's plugging it in. I hope it doesn't explode on me. Oh, fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Yeah, no fucking shit. You know why? This fucking screw's not screwed in. This fucking screw moved. And it actually jumped from here to one of these fucking screws. Oh shit. That's tight. This one. This one's loose. There we go. That just about gave me a fucking heart attack. So in order to transport it, the guy um, who we bought it from spun this off. gonna leak until we get that fucking because <laughs> I mean I can... we're just gonna go to Harbor Freight and get a whole new fucking setup man we're gonna get a whole new fucking water trap valves oh actually you know shit. what that's got enough pressure that it's actually holding it down without the nut see that's funny so it's it's actually good it the thing is I can actually push up on it and purge it yeah that's <laughs> not the way that's supposed to work 
All right, well, we're all done, so like give me a... Back. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'll be right back. Oh, you, I'll okay. be right back. But... But... But John... John... Fucker. Now all I have to do is put the panel back on, which is sitting right there. Screw it down. And uh, I have an air compressor. I have two fittings right here. You can hook up air hose to, along with my air tool and then do air tool stuff. And this gauge and that gauge have a 20 PSI difference. So one of these gauges is lying and I don't know which one. As long as the one that's associated with the pressure switch is the correct one, that's okay. That one can lie all day long, don't care. That one's gotta be right. Uh, I really like this part. That's my favorite part right there. Awesome. Pretty loud. Kind of bearable. I mean, from this side of the garage, it's bearable. If you're close to it, it's really loud. So it depends on how close to it you are. That one's really early. All over there. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just leaking down here. We gotta get some Teflon tape on that one and some Teflon tape on this one, but which is hard to get to. He installed something like this assembly with a sh with a cutoff on the bottom, so it's got a pipe coming out. Fortunately, the pipe is on the other side, so I'm gonna have to adjust the tank. This tank is gonna walk back and fit back there anyway, so I still have to kind of walk it back. And then I'll be able to have access to that. Yeah, there's gonna be a little leak. That's fine. I'll take it. It'll do more than I'll be able to throw at it. That's tighten. I don't want tighten. I want loose. Reverse this. That's got to go to there. Ka Ching. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to pick this thing up because yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get that. Okay. That's probably good enough. You don't have to pull it all the way up. That doesn't seem like it's doing shit. No, I think you need more pressure in the line. Yeah, it's definitely need more, need more pressure. So we are redoing the fittings with Teflon because there are air leaks and we need to try and minimize the air leaks to get more power. To be honest, that one was just loose. Not only that, but I mean, I really think we should we should definitely think about recharging. Oh. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, I can hear, I can feel this exhaust coming out. Oh. So good, so good. My brother is a child. <laughs> you happy now? Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Oh my god. I would have had a stuffed rope in the cylinder. That is so fucking cool.